have to go underneath there to see how to do that. Yeah, because today... <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Changing the U joints. Uh, I don't want to go to that doggy bark. Never mind. So, it's got the tires blocked. So it doesn't roll down this hill. It's a nice day. See the mountains. It's warm. Waiting on him. <laughs> can't find nothing in this garage. Sure, I can. When I want to. When I want to. Which is when? Never? Never. Yeah. Loosening the drive shaft. Trying to. Trying to. Things ain't cooperating, of course. Ow! I bumped my head. There's your tiki noise, you hear? Yep, I heard that. The drive when you drive's going bad. Start to hear that noise? You joints are starting to go bad. And you can tell these are bad at breeze boost. And this is why you're doing it, right? <laughs> They're hearing this, it's vibrating. So I'm looking at it going, oh, breeze boot is gone on this one. <laughs> There's no place to grease it either. Just unbolt it. Unbolt it. Every time it comes easy, of course. And what size bolts are those for that? Three eighths. Three eighths. Three eighths. Seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths. <laughs> this one's seven sixteenths. Some are three eighths. Some are seven sixteenths. Well, this one happens to be seven sixteenths. Some are Torx type. This is old. American made. Oh, that's American made. Chevrolet American made, brother. Ain't been fixed worked on in years. In years. Put a fuel pump in it so far. Now we're having to put a year guy in it. What happens you don't have to work on it, I guess. Now see, we're, we're very safe to you see the uh, jack stands. Oh, no we're not. Oh yeah, jack stands. <laughs> yeah, we got jack stands. <laughs> They're in the garage somewhere. Yeah, they're in the garage. We just don't want to use them. We're too lazy. So when we get squished, we'll be on the video being squished. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> See, this has little upper springs on it. There's the extra spring on there. Helper spring. Helper, huh? That's why it hauls so much weight. That's the first prop. Yeah, that's you guys. Bring yes, we're there. lucky that when we went to the mountains today, it didn't pop off. I didn't bring my screwdriver to pry this thing out of here. Uh, oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Move a ranch bag. I can be on TV. Oh, boy. On TV. You can edit that shit. Uh, on TV. On video. You guys see it. That's bad, bad, bad. I'm bad for a while. Yes, I've heard, I've heard it. I've heard it for a while. It's sprinkling. I feel it on my legs. It's only seventeen dollars, or something like that. Fifteen dollars for it. Yes, it was 15. That's a lifetime, right? That's a lifetime. One, two. I gotta go get a big screwdriver, of course. You gotta go get a big screwdriver now. Okay, here we go again. Now it came off. Pop around. See? 
Oh wow, look <laughs> at that thing just falls right There's out. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a non-greasable. It's not even round anymore. It's a non-greasable U-joint, or was a greasable U-joint, yeah. It's just never been greased in forever. Wow. Tells you how good a maintenance I must do. Oh, goody, in the pan? Probably. I He's gonna try it without it. No. Oh, oh my god. There's an ice cream truck coming. Ow! Ow! Oh! Eat. fun today right now we'll be back well we got it out he got it out I helped I watched now how are you gonna get that out first we gotta get a bike over here clean off the bench which is nice Oh. He's very nice and neat. Not. Of course I am. Every mechanic's nice, neat, and clean. <laughs> Fifty dozen things. We're real safe too. We pulled the lights on. We're <laughs> Just so we can have more room on his bench. Harbor Freight Sea Clamps. Are these the type of clamps that are glued? I mean, you joints. I don't know, haven't looked at it yet. It's been replaced. I don't see a C clamp. A clip pin in it. I guess we'll find out, huh? Glued, so you got a little dot on either end. Oh, but that's not the one you're taking out. Yeah. Well, it's dotted on that one. It's probably dotted on that one. Why don't you heat them up? Yeah, don't take that one out. <laughs> you're gonna have to go buy another one. <laughs> yeah. This is factory style. I hate factory style. So it is glued. Yep. So they put the glue in. If some guy would have lubed it. I wonder who that was that didn't lube it. Hmm. Sit there once in a while, open the door. More light. Well, you go away there, we'll find something a lighter now. I don't have one. I knew that. I was gonna say I have one, but no, I don't. Okay, we'll be back. I'm all here. We'll try it with a propane bottle. We'll heat it up as much as we can heat it up. Oh, goody. <laughs> Heat it up and it should run out. You can be ready for it last time. Don't you have a regular torch? Nope, we don't know what I can do. Oh. I go all the way up to the mountain and do it. And we started torching it and we noticed that stuff just come around shooting out. And it got hot enough. Really? The urethane or something. Or you won't get it out. It'll beat the crap out of it. Try this for a little propane torch. Yeah. 
Almost tight close. So basically you're just trying to melt the glue, I'm guessing. Heat the glue up. And the glue will pour it out. So you can stop and wait. So this is gonna take a while. Okay, we'll do that. Well, it was oozing out a bit and I didn't turn the camera on fast enough. But you should see it burning. Oh god. Oops. You need to turn the camera on. Turn up with this bullshit. Oh, hi. Mr. Over, you know, come on. Oh, jeez. What happened to all your friends? Come on, you start moving. Just heating up the joint. We're going to step two, I guess. Plan B. Plan B. Plan B ain't working right now either. Plan B is trying to figure out what I can do to do it. Got to get it to go that direction. And I got nothing to hit on. Go that direction. What do I? Move? Nope, not at all. Yeah, that's all you can do. Should drive that through and drive the other one back. But that shit just won't come out if you get it hot enough. Yeah, it's not. Not moving. Biggest pain in the ass there is, dude, I swear. Be back. Okay, I guess you're trying something different here.
I gotta show this. This is what he did this time. It's not cut through all the way yet. He's gonna do the other side now and possibly cut through it. Drive it out. Do that. Slam it through, push it inward, there you go. Now you have a clean, very hot U-joint. Clean and very hot. When you get your new U-joint, you do the opposite of what you did. Then. You have to luck with your device to pull them in. Now you raise the U-joint. And you use the device to squeeze it in. Now these ones are not going to be glued in, right? No, they're put in with clips. Okay, the clips. This one was factory style, this is not. You have clips going inside. This one has inside clip. Look at that, make sure it looks like it's where it's supposed to be. Oily, that's what it is. And catch myself on fire. Yeah. And me. We're going to use our vise to help squeeze our new caps in. This is a non greasable U joint. Lifetime warranty. Where'd you get it? This is AutoZone. No, AutoZone. It's gold. Lifetime. You don't have to worry about the grease zerk being in a certain place. Put the bearing back in the cap. Get a bearing cap on the other side. We can tap it with a small hammer. Most people go, no, don't do that. So it goes in fairly easily, but you gotta line the other cap up, tap it in. So it goes right together. Hotter than a pistol. <laughs> if you don't want to get your hand on it, you'll remember. Do like a half round step. Yeah, drop them on. <laughs> drop them on on your pile of junk. That's what they look like. You better put the club back on them because it's still hot. And they go on either side of this here. If you've got it in for them. If you've got it in for them, you got to tap it in a little bit. You like that? Take the other side back the other way. Put the other clip on the other side. This is what holds it into your room. Make sure your clip is seated. Back the other way. See if you hit it too far. It'll tighten up on you. Use your, use your vice. Drive line that doesn't hold what you want. You can turn it. You can tap it back. Easter is out the beaten. It's Easter, you know. Tap on. Loosens it right up. Eh? Not to be loose. You don't want it to be tight. Tightened up. Now we do it. Put it back in. Yay! It looks like it had little ring caps on it, but then... Oh, that did. Oh, shit! If you examine closely, it does have the cap clips in it. Oops. 
We didn't have to do all that if we were smarter. <laughs> so we want to show how stupid we can be. We didn't do that. The other two clips you don't need. It's just bolts to your drive shaft. Which we'll do here in a minute. Alright. And what was this way? Right to the rear end. No, it's not. He's having a hard time finding the hole. Oh, I got it in there. It's clocking the driveway. <laughs> I know the certain way. It's clocked to a certain position. We didn't move the watch. Stick it back in there like so. Centered up, they'd probably go, oh, you need to put them clips in there. Hold it on either side, but it wouldn't help. Yeah, we do, eh? You need to put the clips on either side of the joint. To keep it from sliding back and forth. Oops. <laughs> See, I was going to show you the wrong way to do it. You don't need those two clips. You do Never a dull moment. <laughs> All right, you pet. You can see that. Now it's stuck in there again. See this clip. Should have been on here. Guys, don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, try this at home. It's fun. Real fun, huh? Unless you went under the car and you forgot to do something. Everybody does. They're not like they're easy. Slip over. Unless you hold with two fingers. Left handed and every other damn thing. Clip goes on there. Round clip. Just put them on there, there it is, and roll away. You watch them. Knock the bearings on it. Yeah, the screwdriver won't stay there. So it's not helping me. The bearings all fall out. The little clips are winning in this battle. I'm gonna go put a bite over your tails. Where's your clip? Daddy? Down to your belly, your, your armpit. Your armpit. There you go. You go into the house, I'm gonna put them on in there. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Get two. Okay, try two. Attempt <laughs> number two. Put the clip in there to give me the right new joint. It should just slip right in there. Just like that. Straps back on, hide the back up. This is non greasable, so I don't have to worry about it. And obviously, the greasable one is how old and not as strong. Sixteen wrench. You have a ratchet wrench. You work quickly. Put the strap on, though. No, don't put the bolt in without putting the strap on. There we're doing that. Strap fell down. Didn't see it. Okay. What are we doing now? Going for a ride, test drive? Yeah, a little test drive, I guess. It's not making noise no more. No, I don't hear it. Clunk, no clunk. You no more. No vibration. Noise. Yes, it sounds good. Just make sure there's not clips on it when you take it apart. That'll make it a whole lot easier for you. The Chevrolets have that little silicone stuff around them. And usually it's not looking like there's anything in there. Ah, uh, yes. Go for a 
that's okay. Yeah, it feels good now. Huh? Good now. Yes, it's quiet. Quiet, no hearing weird noises. Ticking noises, no 